Angiosperms were traditionally divided up into two groups, called monocots and dicots. However, due to several studies and analyses, this notion has been revised. Monocots are still recognized as a main group of angiosperms, but the dicots were divided up. Because of this change, the term dicot is no longer used. Currently, there are eight clades or groups of angiosperms. They include Ambrillales, Nymphiales, Austrobaleales, Chloranthales, Magnoliidae, Monocots, Ceratophiloles, and Eudicots. The Ambrillales, Nymphiales, Austrobaleales, Chloranthales, and Ceratophiloles make up only 0.1% of all angiosperms. Magnoliidae is the third largest clade or group of the angiosperms, making up about 2%. These smaller clades or groups of angiosperms are considered more primitive compared to the monocots and eudicots. Monocots and eudicots make up almost 98% of all angiosperms, and that is why when talking about angiosperms, monocots and eudicots are usually the only clades or groups often discussed. But keep in mind that about 2.1% of angiosperm plants do not fit into the monocot or eudicot clade or group. Monocots make up approximately 23% of all angiosperms. Species include grasses, sedges, bamboo, palms, yuccas, joshua trees, orchids, lilies, onions, and so on. Orchids make up the largest group of monocots. Eudicots make up approximately 75% of all angiosperms. They contain more species and are more diverse than monocots. Eudicots include sunflowers, cacti, oaks, mustards, roses, lupins, sages, poppies, willows, and so on. Species in the sunflower family, or Asteraceae, make up the largest group of eudicots. In the next video, I will discuss the numerous differences between monocots and eudicots. This concludes the video. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.